Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Busisiwe Lamini Haruri, the Kempeth Principal. If you haven't subscribed already onto my channel, may you please click on the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so that every time when I upload a new video, you get um, notified so that you can be the first one to check it out. In this video, I want us to talk about colorimetry. So basically colorimetry and Bia's law, they are very related. They are almost the same, you will see. So what is the principle of colorimetry? So the principle of colorimetry says is when a monochromatic light of a specific wavelength passes through a colored solution, some light will be absorbed and some light will be transmitted. Then, and the concentration of the sample is directly proportional to the uh, absorbance and inversely proportional to the transmitted light. So it means the darker the color, the higher the concentration. So I'm just going to write it there in short. So the absorbance will be equal to concentration and the transmitted light will be inversely proportional to concentration. So the darker, the color, the higher the concentration. Because if the color is dark, it absorbs a lot of light. You can think about you when you're waking black clothes. When it's hot, you're going to feel very, very hot because the black clothes, they absorb more light because the color is dark than the normal white clothes. So I'm just going to show you something so that you can see what really happens there. So what, what is happening? This is a patient sample that does not contain the analyte that we are looking for so let's say we are testing for creatinine so this is a blood sample that does not have any creatinine in it so when it, it's mixed with that picric acid in the reagent there is no color change so it remains the same so when the light is shown through that cuvette as you can see more light get transmitted it goes to the other side of the glass so that is why we say it is inversely proportional but when there is creatinine in there so now we have a cuvette that contains a patient sample plus picric acid and then together they form this brick um, color so now when the light is shown through as you can see there is less light that passes through the glass so it means more light is absorbed because the creatinine that is inside the patient sample reacted with the picric acid that is in the reagent and together they formed a color so now when that um, light with a specific wavelength that can be absorbed by a brick color it will um, get absorbed once it passes through 
and then there won't be any light or there will be little light that will be transmitted so that is why we say the darker the color it means the higher the concentration of the sample so if you know what Beer's law is it's very easy to know what colorimetry is because they are the same if you can look at the definition the only thing that is different here is to make sure that you always include that test cuvette must contain a colored solution because from the weight you see it says colorimetry like i said if you can dissect the weight color it means color metry it means measurement so it means here we are measuring the so there's some sort of measurement of color so we are measuring the amount of light that will be absorbed by a specific color and then from there we can use the Beer's law equation or the calibration curve to be able to get the concentration of the sample so basically it's as easy as that that is colorimetry that's it for me from this video if you have any questions you can put them down there in the comment field uh, if you want to comment or say anything, I'll be happy to interact with you. And that's it from me. Up until next time.